I made a couple of videos <clears throat> about him right before. And I was just quite disappointed that Muslims were looking up to him. I think over time, I've come to appreciate that maybe the main reason they were looking up to him is his anti-establishment kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I can appreciate that. I can't say that's a negative thing from a Muslim's perspective, those kind of messages he was sending. So if that was the main reason they were following him and looking up to him, then then good for that. That's good. I think the main critique I had was, are you really just looking up to this guy because he's got a good social media presence and he's able to make his lifestyle look great through editing and through buying certain things? Are you looking up to him because he's rich? Are you looking up to him because of the way he claims certain skills with the opposite gender? Oh, right. Um, <laughs> I was wondering where you're going there. <laughs> Are you looking up to him for that or are you mostly looking up to him because finally someone who just speaks up, says what it is and seems to say just what they believe in an uncensored way. And in a, on, a, on one of our podcasts, I said, I, I said that, didn't I? I said, you know what, if they are looking up to him because of that reason, I can respect that. I can get that. But I just hope that now the Muslims that look up to him now, I hope it's because of what he's shown to his sincerity that when he found something true, he went in on it. Yeah, and his messaging of not kneeling down when people try to push you down and you've got justice on your side, if you like. I hope people will follow him for that. And I just hope overall people are not going to keep falling for this thing of rich equals better, rich equals superior, real men are rich. Like this is wrong messaging. And uh, I agree with you, bro. Like I listened to quite a few of his long form kind of discussions. And a lot of the time I found most of it that I agreed with it, but it was just the clips and the provo provocative language yeah, yeah. and the marketing and all that. really awful things. And that was all his choice Yeah, yeah, yeah to put those things out. And so that's why I didn't even hold him to account. Really, I was like, look, what do I expect from him? But I was like, I expect that Muslims won't follow someone like that. So that's yeah. mostly what I was addressing. But now going forward, like I said, um, it, it was uh, initially is a bit weird for me that feeling like oh that guy that I had that problem with he's Muslim now but like you said then it just melted away and now he's like my brother and we can talk about the previous negative things but there's that event in his life where he became Muslim and there's the before that which people can critique and there's the after that and the after that we have no idea about yeah um, even some of the videos I'm seeing on my YouTube which is like Andrew Tate this and that in Dubai I don't know if that video was before he became Muslim or after. Yeah, 100%, so, 100%. So we really don't know. And even if he continues some of the things we might condemn, firstly, we all make mistakes. Secondly, you can understand it might take a while to get out of certain situations and re, you know, reacquaint your friends and family with what you're now going to accept and not accept and all of those things yeah, that yeah. converts go through. And the worst thing for him is that he's very public figure and so that's quite difficult but the truth is we should give him a chance and I was thinking would I do the same if it was the most horrendous woman with the most horrendous past like some of the yeah. most uh, what's that word degenerate woman <laughs> who's promoted all the sorts of rubbish would I feel the same way I know a few women maybe not that terrible women have converted to Islam and I think I felt like similarly maybe I didn't know as much about them but it was just like, great, that's great, that's amazing. Allahu Akbar, it just shows, Yanni, the truth, and maybe this will be good for the da'wah and stuff like yeah. that. I do feel like the main resistance to Andrew Tate, literally, is just the feminist worldview that's been pumped out. I think that the shirk amongst feminists, the shirk is not shirk, the shirk is actually what they consider to be misogyny. That is their shirk, that is the thing that can't be forgiven. And that's mm. why they're struggling to accept that he's a Muslim and his slate is clean and that he may actually get rid of all those bad things yeah. and just be a normal Muslim who makes mistakes but he tries to cover up for them. I think really that is, that's the only difference I can think about bro. That this, uh, this idea that you can't have certain thoughts about certain opinions uh, about women or about gender roles or about this and that you're not allowed, like that's the shirk of feminism. Yeah,